Hey Ralph here from Ralph's Bricks and Minifigures and uh, I thought I'd check in and see how everybody was doing in this time of uh, social distancing. Um, and just you know, give you an update of where, where we're at and that, that kind of thing. So I finally decided to break into my um, Millennium Falcon set. So I broke into that a few weeks ago and slowly but surely I'm, I'm working on that. I am on bag five right now, which is a series of bags. <laughs> I think bag one was six bags or seven bags. Bag two was like three or four bags. So when you say a bag number, it doesn't mean just one bag. It means a series of bags. And so this is bag five we've been working on um, on the back part here. Um, so I think bag, bag five will complete the entire back engine area. So we're, we're getting there. I've been doing this slowly. I think it takes me about three or four sessions to get through a, a series of bags. Um, it's just been nice coming down for about an hour and working on it and leaving it here. Um, some, some of my minifigures that, that I've gone. The only thing I don't like about the minifigures so far is um, Chewbacca. I mean, I like the bowcaster here, but I don't like the fact that it's a stud shooter. Um, so, anyways, you're not here for Millennium Falcon. You're here for the store, which is over here. So let's, let me caveat by saying I've stopped investing in these sets. Um, I, I think when things started getting bad, uh, I stopped buying. Um, I think it's just because like this isn't this isn't a, the main revenue maker for me. So I concentrated on work, making sure that my job is secure, which it is. It's been very great. I work for an Australian company who is we. I think we were one of the first ones that went totally remote. So none of our offices are open. We're, um, it's been it's been fantastic. They've been they've been really really great in providing uh, those of us who don't work home from home 100% like I do, uh, you know, some money to improve their situation. But I have been working on the store, um, even though I'm not bringing in new sets, um, I am I am working on things. So let me see where we where we left off, left off here. So I've in, in Put all of these on. I had these before we got self-isolated uh, or told to shelter in place. And so I've labeled all these and hung them up. Before I did that, I actually put the screws onto the boards here so that I can get another row up and up and going when I get, get those. With the uh, Amazon and their you know, one month delay. I sort of got to plan ahead here a little bit just to make sure that I, I get those things when I need need them. Uh, case in point, um, I'm down to my last package of number triple zero envelopes. I have another package of these somewhere, but I go through these fairly quickly. So I got like one more package up there of triple zero, but I don't have any uh, just zero uh, envelopes. I, I opened up my last package and they go fairly quickly as well. So I placed an order on Amazon. They won't come until May. So what have I been doing? Uh, I've been trying to get upload, but I'm not uploading new sets. Um, so one thing I've decided here to do in my time off. So this here is my used, well, those right there. These are my used bins. Uh, uh, that's in the store currently. So I've got plates and bricks and slopes and wedges and I had Technic in there as well. And I've been mulling it over for the last couple of weeks and asking other BrickLink sellers what, they're, what they do with their used stuff. And I've, I've decided to integrate the used in with, uh, in, into the drawers. So they'll be intermixed. And uh, I've been, I've been like sort of eye on my orders as I'm pulling them. I'm like figuring out what what they would look like when I when I pull them. Um, and I think the only thing I need to worry about is and 
one thing, the only reason why I need to worry about this is because I like to mark on the little baggies of each of the used parts that I put in the bag. Uh, so I'll mark used on there. And so I'll, it's easy when it's like in this situation where the all this is over here because the numbers that come first, which are all my new parts. And then when I come over here, these are all the used parts. So basically the way I've organized it is new will always come up first and then used comes up second. And it just makes an easy delineation between new and used to when I'm pulling, pulling that stuff. So now I think now I have used parts over here. So those are used par used Technic parts that are in like 0164 so they'll they'll pop up earlier before all that so i'll just have to keep a like thankfully used is like red it's you know very easy to see the used parts when you're pulling an order and just making sure that i mark those bags as used when i do that so i'm working on bringing all that over so the first step i did was empty this bin which was all the use Technic pieces that I had and put them in drawers. And next I'll slowly work on these things. And so there's a little method to my madness here. So let's walk over to the sorting station. So I might have shown this in a previous video, but I've set up this sorting station. I've got, this is all this unprocessed bulk here that I'm, I'm going through. And then I've got uh, two, two by plates, I've got uh, Technic, I've got wedges, which I've just cleaned, slopes, um, anything that's more than two by plates, one by plates, plates modified, tiles, plates round, bricks, um, I got a bag full of wheels and tires, some specialty parts that I think would be good to list. Then this is the stuff I'm not going to list right away, but I'll probably come back and do a second, second part through or sort through of those things. These are bricks that are either discolored, scratched, or I'm not going to sell. And then over here is the box of this right here is the box of uh, Mega Blocks and Tyco and crap like that 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 you find in there. So I've been working on this, and uh, right now. Like I said, the, the wedges just got processed. So that's why it looked empty. Wash the wet uh, bin of wedges and they are uh, currently uh, drying. So they'll probably dry for another day and then I'll start sorting them out. And then when I sort them, I wait until they, uh, I put them in over in this new area that I've set up. And so I'll wait until they become sort of critical mass here and then do one big sort through each of them. So I do an initial sorts here, like in the, in the slopes I've done, um, regular slopes and inverted slopes, uh, uh, straight slopes and then curved slopes. And then these look like I still need to go through another, another sort through because it is inverted in there as well. But that, uh, I'll wait full of those things and then, then go through that but what I did with the uh, with the Technic uh, when I was putting these away uh, I'd bring it over to the station here and I would uh, uh, take the, the pieces out of the bag figure out which drawer it was going in and then I went back over here and grabbed all those same pieces out so I wasn't having to go back through it uh, uh, through it again so that's how I've been uploading. Um, I'm working on used parts right now, trying to find uh, more bulk online, which has actually been very difficult during this time because everybody's buying bulk to build and stuff. So the bulk prices have increased at least three times since since all this started, but we're doing all right. Um, I know uh, a lot of store uh, a lot of stores are still. Uh, talking about you know how how they're doing month to month and I, I think it's I, you might have noticed I didn't do a March update I, I, I just sort of think it's not appropriate to talk about how much money you're making when 
there's so many people uh, out of work. Um, also, my numbers for Mars weren't as good as everybody else's, probably because I wasn't still investing into the store. So I'm not worried about that. Um, and I don't feel like it was necessary to to talk about my numbers. So there, uh, there it is, 10 minute video, walk around the store. We're slowly working. We're still getting orders in, which is nice. Um, and uh, yeah, still working on getting through some of the stuff that that we had over here. Like for instance, here's a bin of uh, washed, what I call special pieces. These are things that I've pulled out and washed up and think that will they'll sell pretty good. For instance, this piece here, every time I put it in there, it goes, it goes quick. This one, this one too, goes quick. Plant pieces always seem to go quickly, so. And then uh, bikes, the bikes are hit or miss. Sometimes they go, sometimes they don't. So, I'm gonna work on those. I think the only thing holding me back on those is just trying, sometimes it's no fun trying to find these things in BrickLink to be able to list them. It just takes a long, it takes a lot longer than it's worth. Let's just put it that way. All right guys, stay safe and uh, we'll catch up again later.